Hey folks, this is Adam. Welcome back to Gear Bubble Training Videos. Today we're going to talk about how to include analytics and lead collection information on your campaigns with the basic Gear Bubble platform. So this is a, a different process from how it works with Gear Bubble Pro. If you have Gear Bubble Pro, please go ahead and refer to the Gear Bubble Pro specific training because it's a, a different process for those uh, Gear Bubble Pro stores. But this is going to cover how to add analytics and how to collect emails and leads from your sales with the regular Gearbubble platform. So first let me just comment that um, unfortunately because of the iOS 14 update on Facebook, the Pixel no longer works with Gearbubble unless you have the white label domain verification. So I'm going to assume that you've gone ahead and added the domain verification to uh, to Gearbubble, and there's going to be a video on how to do that as well. So go ahead and refer to that video. You can buy your domains from Namecheap and set it up with domain name forwarding to Gearbubble. That gives you a domain that you can verify, and it gives you the ability to add the Facebook Pixel and the Google Analytics to your account. So the next thing that you need to do is find the campaign that you want to add your analytics and your pixel to. So you're going to go and click on settings on that campaign. So uh, one thing that you can do is you can create a connection to a MailChimp account. So we'll talk about that in a second, but first we're going to look at our tracking pixels. So you're going to see the Facebook tracking pixel gets entered right here. So um, the Facebook pixel there is grayed out. But uh, the conversion pixel is what we're looking for here. So don't worry about this product feed thing. That's something completely different. You can actually send your products to Facebook in a feed. Uh, so the conversion pixel is where you're going to enter here. There is no longer a retargeting pixel. It's the same pixel. You can So you can just enter the same pixel in both spots here. You're going to find your pixel on uh, business.facebook.com. Uh, of course, the, the layout for that site changes, you know, basically every month or so. So uh, I can't really show you how to find your pixel, but it's fairly easy to do. The pixel is a fairly long number string, and you can basically get multiple pixels in your ad account and use them for different niches. And there's a lot of things you can do with pixels. But this is where you're going to put that pixel on each campaign. So you have to add each pixel into the campaign directly. And you click on update. Next, the Google remarketing pixel. Um, so there's going to be the Google Analytics ID. And then there's um, this is a spot to put your pixel into. So Google Analytics is how you're going to track your conversions on Google Ads. So Google Ads is a there's basically two different ways to sell Google Ads. There's just a regular Google ad, and then there's the Google Shopping ad. So those are different. And they do have different tracking systems for each one. So uh, I believe the Google Shopping feed has a remarketing pixel that you can either put here. Uh, there is another place for a third-party pixel right here. So as long as you have the code, that is the, the snippet of code, you can put it in here. And it should track your Google purchases from the Google Shopping feed. But you can put your Google Analytics ID in here, and if you can get your conversion pixel right here, there is instructions right here on how to get your Google tracking ID. So it's a little bit more complex than simply getting your Facebook pixel. If you click on it, you'll see uh, that goes through quite a bit of information here. You're going to have to copy some text here. You're going to have to copy in your your analytics. Uh, ID into the tag and then copy it and paste it into the website on Gearbubble here and then update it. So that's how you track your conversions with Google. And of course, like I said, you do have to have a verified domain in order for that to work. Google needs to have your domain verified so you won't be able to verify the Gearbubble.com. You have to have the white label domain or a Gearbubble Pro store. Now let's talk about lead generation and how to connect your campaign to MailChimp. So when you click on this, you're going to get 
a token, which is what you're going to give to MailChimp, and you're going to get information about these, uh, well, about yourself that you're going to have to give to, uh, basically, this is disclosure information that's required by law when you're collecting emails. So in order for you to collect emails, you have to disclose who is collecting them and, uh, you know, you have to put all this information in here. So basically, when you set up your connection with MailChimp, there is a place where you can put the API token. And when you put the API token, as soon as a purchase is made, the customer opt-in information will be put into your Gearbubble account, and you'll be able to tra uh, collect emails and then remarket to those customers. Uh, assuming they don't unsubscribe from you, then you'll be able to remarket to them forever. And that's a pretty important part of marketing with online and Facebook ads because you want to be able to remarket to people who have purchased before with uh, future products that you sell. So that's where you're going to find that information on your regular Gearbubble. Of course, this will be a little bit different for Gearbubble Pro users, and you'll see that training in a different section on the Gearbubble website. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.